So an important part about reading fiction, um, it seems like you think, and I, I think I agree with you, is that we can, through reading fiction, through literature, get to know the true essence of humanity or get closer to that than maybe we can by limiting ourselves to real people who have real barriers and real secrets that they really don't want to let us know about for good reason. And through fiction, we can really get to know how people really think and how people really feel, and we can really understand humanity. And to not engage in the reading of literature and fiction really leaves a lot of what we really want to know about reality and human beings out of our grasp. Well, you know, there was a, in, about 25 years ago, uh, Anatole Braillard, who was a, a book reviewer for the New York Times, he had wrote a column in which he had a friend who had been a psychiatrist, and uh, his friend the psychiatrist said to him that he was going to quit psychiatry and just read books because he had a feeling that uh, the c people he was learning to know in, in his practice were not as real and are not as deep or not as genuine as, as the people in literature. So he did do that, but then some months later, <laughs> Boyard wrote another column in which he said his friend had come back to him and said he was going to resume his psychiatric practice because he had decided those people were more real. Uh, I don't quite agree. I, I sort of agree with your question implicitly, which is that I think what writers who develop real characters, whether it's Anna Karenina or Madame Bovary or John Updike's Rabbit or a lot of the characters Alice Munro writes about or uh, Dostoevsky's uh, Crime and Punishment or uh, Kafka's uh, Metamorphosis, Gregor Samson, Sam, I always forget his name, Samson. Anyway, writers have the freedom that we don't have in real life, which is to go into all the layers of a person's psyche and into all the layers of a person's motivation. And usually when we see people in real life, we see them in a partial way. You know, we see them at a party, or we see them as lovers, or we see, we see them at work, or we see them in some way. But I think good writers are, you know, are deeply psychological people. And the characters we meet, I don't think I've ever known a person in real life that I know as well as Proust. You know, in of things past uh, because he goes through every little layer of memory of how he remembers things, of his sense of smell, of how the taste of this cookie of Madeleine brings him back, Madeleine brings him back to childhood. So uh, I actually think that literature uh, is a wonderful way to deeply know people and that that's really kind of a writer's job, you know, is to expose all the stuff that we don't really want to expose in real life and rarely, if ever, exposed to any, anybody, even ourselves. So uh, I, would, <laughs> I would have agreed with the psychiatrist's original impulse, you know, although I, I also work as a therapist, so I think both are pretty interesting, but I don't think I ever get to know my clients or, as well as I get, I've gotten to know characters in literature. Okay, well, thank you, Michael Blumenthal, for participating in the question. It's been a wonderful experience to have you here at West Virginia University for a year. Great for me too. Thank you.